morning ladies and gentlemen in fact it's not morning anymore it's now lunchtime i thought i'd take the morning off of filming today but nothing interesting happened anyway actually that's a lie i saw a squirrel smoking a cigarette but that's probably normal around here i thought i'd leave manchester and i'm now heading to north wales there's an island there called anglesey i think that's how you pronounce it but just before you go onto the island there's a town called bangor bangor my sat nav says bangor so i don't know what it's called but that's where I'm heading now. It's gonna take about two hours to get there. And then from there, we will formulate a plot. We are homing in on Bangor, I think. I turned the sat nav off because the road just seemed to keep going all the way to where we want to get to. There's a VW T5 just up ahead. I was following it for about 10 miles and it says on the back, Penguin Home Improvements. So I reckon he's lost because I can't see there being many penguins around here. And even if there are, are they really going to want their home improved? We're about to enter the mountain, literally. I have arrived at Bangor. I'm just pulling up at a Tesco car park at the moment. If you ever want a reminder when you come to Wales that you are actually in another country, come to this Tesco. Everyone in there is talking Welsh. I thought no one talked Welsh in Wales. I've been here a few times, I've never heard it before. Two hours ago, I was in another country. He's mad. But anyway, because it gets dark so early these days, about 4 p.m. I think, there's no point in me going over to the island now and then trying to explore that because I won't be able to see anything. So my priority is finding a park up for the night. What I'm gonna do, because I've got no signal over here, I'm gonna go and get some fuel and then hopefully I'll have signal there and we can jump on a park for night at. managed to find some signal and a moment I'm parked up outside some bar and grill restaurant thing that was near the petrol station and if all else fails I could even sleep here but to be honest I was kind of hoping to wake up to a nicer view than a seagull that wishes he was a pigeon and some dirty old mattress. Well it looks like there's loads of options on the island itself so I might as well pick one of these. I lost signal again so I'm just gonna head there and wing it but it turns out so you've got Anglesey, or possibly Angel Sea. Someone tell me in the comments if I'm pronouncing that wrong. And then beyond that, there's another island. I didn't realize it's called Hollyhead, a little tiny island. And that's the one that I'm gonna head to. But I literally have no signal, so I can't even load up my sat nav or look apart from that anymore. So I'm just gonna wing it, see what happens. So I think I'm getting to the very edge of the island now. I've just driven past a sort of little gravel car park that could be good. Sunset is happening though. And if I can find somewhere to park up, I can show you that. What's this place here? Oh, right, there's a car park right here. Yeah, let's pop in here quickly and I'll show you guys the sunset. That is perfect timing, just pulling up here whilst the sun's going down like that. I mean, I wouldn't mind staying here to be honest, but we're right outside some sort of cafe and it's also pretty windy. So I imagine in the middle of the night, the van will be blown all over the place. Plus, I imagine we probably would get booted out. So I'm gonna to continue to the end of this road and see what's that way. And if not, we'll head back to that gravel car park I saw on the way in. There's a lighthouse right down in front of us there. I wanna be able to see that when I wake up. We'll have to fly the drone around that in the morning. All right, this is the end of the road. It looks like it's free parking as well, but there's no way I can stay here. The ground is on a wonk. That's an official expression. Okay, we will come back to this bit in the morning. But for now, I still want to find a park up before it's dark. So we're only about half a mile from the lighthouse. Not that that matters, because we're about to get mowed down by this massive tractor. And I reckon we can make it sweet as a nut. Cheers, mate. I don't have any change, and it won't let you pay any other way. But all day is £2.50, which is quite good, but that's from nine till five. So I'm guessing after that's free. So I could stay here and by some miracle, I could make myself get up and leave here by 9 a.m. So I think this is the spot. Job done. As you can probably hear, it's a little bit windy, but where I'm tucked into the corner over there is actually not too bad. So when the doors are shut and I'm in bed, hopefully, I shouldn't hear anything. You might have noticed when I was driving that in the passenger seat I've got my old duvet. Well that is because I have now the duvenator. It's like the Swiss army knife of duvets and when I set the bed up I'll show you how it works. 
but trust me, it is the ultimate van life duvet. But right now it's time to introduce today's video sponsor, which is EcoFlow. And they wanted me to let you know about the Black Friday sales. So I believe they are on from the 25th to the 29th of November. But don't quote me on that. There'll be a link down in the description below that will take you to their website so you can check out the exact dates and the price of their special offers. And whilst we're talking about the EcoFlows, if you watched one of my previous videos, you would have seen that I was using the River 2 to power the electric blanket throughout the night and it worked a treat. It took the River 2 down to about 30% battery by the morning and my solar panel that's on the roof of the van has been topping that back up to 100% throughout the day. For me, I don't actually use the River 2. Usually I use this one, which is the Delta 2. And because I'm now using the Delta 2 instead of the River 2, as well as the solar lead coming out, I also have a kettle lead, which comes straight from my inverter in the van so that when I'm driving, I can switch that on and I can put 300 watts of power into the Delta 2 to give it that extra boost. This thing has just over a thousand watt hours of capacity and the River 2 has 256 watt hours. And that was fine. It's more than enough to run the electric blanket all night, but I also want to run my 250 watt fan heater so I can have that on for like half an hour before bed and half an hour when I wake up. And this thing is gonna run that as well as the electric blanket. And then there's still plenty of battery left to charge drones, cameras, laptops, and whatever else I need. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you would be correct in thinking I had a Tesco finest Italian style deli meats and mozzarella rosemary focaccia sandwich but i also have a plan and that plan is to toast it in the ridge monkey pretty much everything in life is better in the ridge monkey apart from goldfish they need to stay in their tank there's only one outcome for this it can only possibly go right The underside is coming along nicely. What is she looking like on the inside? Oh, look at that. She is a beauty. Oh, why does everything bite me? Ah! Right, let's give this a go. It smells like Gordon Ramsay's tea towel. That is the one. Praise be. So for tonight's setup, we have the EcoFlow Delta 2 as the centerpiece. We've got a solar charging wire which goes around the back of that unit and off to my solar panel on the roof. So at 7 a.m. when the sun comes up, this bad boy will be getting topped up. And then plugged into the main sockets, we've got two plugs there. One is going off to the 250 watt fan heater and the other one is going off to the controls to the new Duvenator. And I will be tidying all of these wires up at some point, but it is a brand new system. And what's good about this is when the sofa comes out into a bed, the Delta 2 fits perfectly underneath it, so it's all tucked away and out of sight. And I don't need to get to it by hand now because I can control it from the EcoFlow app. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, even guinea pigs from around the world, welcome to the Duvenator. So what I was doing till a couple of nights ago was I had a heated blanket and then on top of that, I had a massive duvet and it had one of those fluffy fleece duvet covers on it. And they're made of polyester and what was happening was because, well I'm guessing it was because it was polyester, the heated blanket obviously was making the whole thing hot but then the cold air on top was making condensation on top of the duvet and that's not good because it's going to end up smelling of damp. So I needed a cotton duvet cover but I thought I'd go one step further and create the ultimate van life duvet. So it's a brushed cotton cover so it's nice and soft but inside here I've got a 15 tog duvet and then I've also got the electric blanket inside here as well. So it's all neat and compact into one thing. It's real thick, it's soft, but it's made of cotton, so hopefully that'll fix the condensation problem. So all we need to do now is plug in the Duvenator controls, and then we can sleep like 10,000 brand new babies inside a fluffy cloud. I don't believe this. I've got my water, the projector, my snacks, my phone, the Duvenator controls, the 250 watt fan heater, the screen, and no internet. Oh, and by the way, that is a new smoke alarm in case the heated blanket gets bored and decides to cook me. But right now, I've got nothing else to do, so I guess that's a good excuse to get some editing done. 
Good morning, people. It is five to nine. We need to move. I'll tell you what, the Duvenator is incredible. It's like sleeping in a womb. The Wominator. Let's get round to this nice car park, take advantage of the decent weather whilst it lasts and get the digital bird up in the sky. It's a sad day, people. I've had this drone for years. I've taken her out to sea. I've flown inland, I've flown cities, other countries. And today, I think we have to declare the digital bird lost at sea. It's completely lost all signal and for some reason the return to home feature isn't working. I had it right out over the lighthouse and then she disconnected. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is that. I've just climbed right up the side of this mountain and it seems to have connected. It's beeping critical low battery. I think she's landing down by the van. How has this happened? It's on 1% battery. Where the hell is it? There it is. You beauty. I cannot believe she is back. I was literally just thinking in my head about my credit card and can I get a new drone on that? And what one should I get? And she returned. You have never once let me down. gonna make a hot chocolate and a bacon roll in the back of the van but seeing as the van nearly died yesterday and the drone nearly died today I think I deserve a breakfast to be cooked for me so I'm gonna head to that cafe that's just around the corner hopefully they'll give me cash back so I can pay for the car park right, if I can pay you, yes well. so it's 150 for an hour or 250 for the day my love. after one of the best breakfasts I've had in a while I decided I would get outside and walk down all 500 steps to see the lighthouse. It took a while, it was heavy on the legs, and when I got there, it was locked. So needless to say, I had to walk all the way back up. But then after that, I decided I would just go for a little explore on foot. And to be honest with you, as far as van life in the UK goes, this has to be one of my new favorite spots. There are some beautiful things to see if you climb up onto the hills. The sun was shining, which is very rare for November. And it was just so peaceful being up there. I even saw a suspicious looking mark floating around in the sea. But right now I need to head back into England because there are no branches of my gym in Wales and I kind of want to go and freshen up and I need to find somewhere to park up where I've got internet for the night so I can upload a video. As always, thank you to anybody who supported the channel by buying me a brain cell through the link in the description. I'm going to leave this video here but I'm not finished with this road trip yet so stay tuned and I'll catch you on the next one.